Let's talk about the future of iOS, and that is iOS 5. <laughs> iOS 5 is a major release. This is incredible for our developers and for our customers. For our developers, there are more than 1,500 new APIs and some great enhancements to our tools. For our, for our users, there are more than 200 new features. And let me go ahead and walk you through 10 now. Number one, notifications. <laughs> I'm sure you're all familiar with notifications. They look something like this, and it looks best when giants are on top. So you can get scoring alerts, you can have alerts that pop up, they can have audio, they can also badge the home screen icons. Well, these have been massively popular. In fact, we have already pushed more than 100 billion push notifications. It's scaled beautifully. We've heard from our customers that they're receiving so many, they'd like a better UI to get them. And we agree. And so we have built something that solves some of the problems in the current one. Currently, when you get a notification, it interrupts you. So if you're playing a game, you get a modal alert. You have to deal with that modal alert before you can go on. Also, in the lock screen, you get this nice list of things that have happened while your phone's been locked. But when you unlock it, that list isn't persistent. There's no way to get back to that list and go through those notifications. Well, we've designed a solution that solves those issues and goes far beyond it. And we call it Notification Center. Notification Center is a single place which combines together all of your notifications. You can get to it at any time from anywhere on your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch just by swiping your finger down from the top to reveal the Notification Center. So it is beautiful. It has your missed calls and voicemails, text messages, mail messages, scoring alerts, Facebook updates, any push notifications that come from the App Store all end up right here in Notification Center. And we've even added stocks and weather right up top. Now, we didn't stop there. Notifications are no longer interrupting. So now, if you're playing a game and someone sends you, say, a text message, you get a nice animation from the top. It's right there. You can keep on playing your game, and it'll automatically dismiss itself. You could have just tapped on it, and it would take you to that app. But it doesn't matter, because you can always get back to it any time just by swiping your finger down from the top. We've also improved the lock screen. You can see more information for notifications here. And one of my favorite features is for any one of the notifications in the lock screen, you can just slide your finger across it, and it takes you directly to the app that sent the notification. And let me go ahead and just show this to you now. So I've got a phone here running iOS 5. You can see more information there. Now I'm just going to swipe my finger right across that text message, and it takes me directly to the Messages app and right into the conversation. It's really convenient. Now to get to the Notification Center, just swipe my finger down from the top, and there it is. Dismiss it by swiping up. Really nice animation. You can see that we're still in winter here in San Francisco. I get all of my messages here, so text messages and scoring alerts. Down at the bottom here, I have some alerts from MLB.com uh, at bat. If I tap on that X button, I can just go ahead and clear that out. If I see another notification, like the Facebook one, I tap on it, it takes me directly to the Facebook app. So it's really convenient. And at any time again, swipe down from the top, and you get back to Notification Center. And that is Notification Center. <laughs>